Hey there, Louis Yacobalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn on automatic replies in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now we're going to look at how to turn on automatic replies in Microsoft Teams, and specifically we will look at how to do it in the desktop application, we'll look at how to do it in the web application, uh, and then I will also demonstrate how it actually uh, gets displayed to users if they try to message you while automatic replies are turned on. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to scroll to the top of the Microsoft Teams interface and click on your account icon. And next you wanna go ahead and click on set a status message. So this is where you can come to actually update your status and that is displayed to users when they are trying to interact with you in Microsoft Teams. Uh, now, if you scroll down, you will now see this new schedule out of office. So this was actually recently released in um, the second week of May, 2021. It hit general availability. If you don't have it, you definitely wanna hit the check for updates button and refresh your Microsoft Teams application. Now clicking on this is going to bring up the out of office menu. Uh, now if you've ever set your out of office inside of Microsoft Outlook, it functions exactly the same uh, as in Outlook. Now what you'll notice is that setting your out of office status here, or setting up automatic replies will also sync with your Outlook calendar and vice versa. So if you update your out of office in Outlook, it's going to cascade into Teams. And if you update it in Teams, it's going to cascade into Outlook. So next you wanna go ahead and turn on automatic replies. And just very quickly, if you hover over the information cards, you'll see here that your out of office message will appear when people contact you in Teams or open your profile. Uh, and it'll also be set as an automatic reply in Outlook. So that is how this actually functions in Microsoft Teams. Uh, now I'll go ahead and I'll just put in my out of office here uh, and you can choose to send replies outside of your organization. And if I check this, just like in Outlook, uh, it allows you to put a, another message uh, for external contacts or perhaps only your contacts. Um, I'll just go ahead and use the same message and if you want to send automatic replies only during a specific time period, you can toggle that on and set your start date and time and your end date and time. Now I'll just go ahead and toggle this off for demonstration purposes and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. All right, now the next thing that we'll look at is I am going to show you that the out of office setup in Microsoft Teams actually does punch over into Microsoft Outlook. And so you can see here, I am logged into my Outlook web application uh, to access automatic replies in the Outlook web app. You want to scroll to the top of the interface and click on the settings icon. And then you want to scroll down and click on view all Outlook settings. And here you can go ahead and click on automatic replies. And you're going to see um, the message that I had just put into Teams, hello, I'm out of the office with limited access, I will respond upon my return. And you can see the option of sending replies outside your organization has also been set with the appropriate message as well. So that is um, how it works, set it in Teams, it's going to get displayed to people when they try to interact with you in Teams, and it's also going to uh, cascade over into Outlook. So the next thing that I'll show you is how to set automatic replies in the Microsoft Teams web application. Now I will just switch over to the Microsoft Teams web app and it is exactly the same as when you're using the desktop app, you want to click on your profile icon. And when you click on this, because I have my out of office set, you will actually see the message displayed here as a reminder for you. Now, if I wanted to change this or turn it off from the Teams web app, you want to click on set status message, okay? And you want to click on schedule out of office. So the web app functions exactly the same as the Microsoft Teams desktop application. 
All right, now the last thing that I'm going to do is I am going to show you what it looks like when somebody tries to interact with you when you have your automatic replies enabled. So I am currently logged in impersonating a colleague of mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to send myself a chat message. Now you'll notice that the message is sent and there is no prompt. So there is no actual automatic reply um, as you would see if you sent an email to somebody with their automatic reply turned on. Uh, but if you hover over the person's card, you can actually see the out of office message is displayed uh, in their contact card. I am a bit surprised that Microsoft did not choose to have the automatic reply uh, display when somebody tries to message you in Teams when that automatic reply is turned on. It seems like it would have made sense given that that's how email functions, for example, uh, and Microsoft is trying to get as many people to move on to the Microsoft Teams platform uh, from email. Uh, I am curious, what do you think? Should automatic replies actually play back as a message when they're enabled and somebody messages you? Uh, drop a comment below, let me know what you think. All right, that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to turn on automatic replies in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new content. I'm Louis Ecobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.